Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a 12-box random team break of 2018. Bowman Baseball. Not Bowman Baseball NFL, MLB. We got, we got the draft on the brain right here. 12-box hobby case random team break number two. Bunch of combo teams in here, which you saw on the page. Now, sometimes there'll, there'll be teams that we took out that may have some uh, numbered parallels or something like that. Um, we'll randomize those as one lot to one person in the break at the very end. Different dice roll. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. And let's randomize each list. Five and a three, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We got Paul Coolwit on the poll and Mike Koontz in the 23 spot. Once again, five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We got the Padres on top and the Diamondbacks Astros on the bottom. So Paul Coolwit with the Padres. Nancy, you got the White Sox. Jeremy with the Rockies. Alex with the A's. Nelson, you got the Marlins and Pirates combo. Richard Peak, what's going on, Richard? Toronto Blue Jays, Daniel D with the Angels. Nice, Daniel. Matthew Kelly with the Nationals. Giuseppe with the Cubs. Junior with the Twins. Daniel with the Phillies. Patrick, you got the Orioles. Matthew Kelly with the Yankees. Sam, you got the Mets. Jeremy Merle with the Reds. Brandon Gomes with the Cardinals. Junior with the Dodgers. Anthony with the Giants. Jeremy with the Rays. Darren McKenzie. D Mac with the Royals and Brewers combo spot. Josh Proust with the Red Sox. Rich, last spot mojo. Atlanta Braves. Mike Coons with the Diamondbacks Astros combo. We'll sort by column B. Uh, any trades? Feel free to throw some trade offers out there if you'd like. Also, if you're watching it live on YouTube, don't miss a trade, don't miss a moment. Right there, make sure that you are always live. Make sure that live button is always current. And for those of you watching live right now, you can click the uh, this the break menu link, and if you look on the bottom tab of the break menu, you will see you will see my 2018 Bowman baseball guide, and you can see all the all the uh, all the prospects and their autographs and whatnot, and you can see why teams are priced the way they are. Because, like for example, EA was asking, well, hey, how come the Dodgers are priced so high? Well, I can tell you, going to my Bowman Baseball Guide, you can look at the Dodgers, you can see all these big prospects right there. A chance at Walker Bueller, right? He's the next big thing for the Dodgers. Verdugo will probably be called up. Kybert Ruiz, big hot catching prospect. Jaron Kendall, first rounder. DJ Peters, triple A or double A, I think, but he had a great spring. And Dennis Santana is having a great spring as well in double A Tulsa. All those guys could be, could be the future. All right, I don't see any trade offers. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and break. So let's print this out. All right, Gabriel, can you remind me after the break? Otherwise, I'm, I know I'm going to forget. Or email us. Or no, don't email us. I'll check. But email us and say, like, actually, you should, and say, make sure it goes to Washington. All right, so hot off the presses, here is the final list right here. On a Thursday, the 26th, a little baseball on NFL draft night. Pop this open. We're gonna keep one of these posters. We wanna we wanna post one in the store here. Alright. So just in the interest of time, we're we going to fly through this break. We're going to fly through all the, all the uh, paper. And we're going to pause on the... Ow. 
I almost cut myself on that. Pause on the chrome. Load a sleeve up the autographs, of course, and top load those. But everything else, we're just gonna we're just gonna fly through. Hopefully, I can beat my time. I'm pretty sure I'll beat my time from yesterday. I think yesterday it was a little on the slow side. All right, good luck, everybody. Random team break number two. Random team break number two. Um, I the schedule is in the chat for tonight, so be sure to check that out. I think we should be. I think we're still fairly on schedule, tentatively. But with all the breaks that are filled up, folks, um, we are already coming up to like the last, schedule-wise, we're already coming up to like the last couple hours of the broadcast. So depending on what you want to do tonight, be sure to start buying your spots now because uh, just so you can fill the break that you want to do tonight. Otherwise, you know, if things might start getting pushed to the next day. So if you don't want to wait until the next day, get into the action today, tonight. Oh, these guys are sliding around here. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Paper base. It's Aaron Judge's birthday. There he is. Paper base right on the top. Happy birthday, Aaron Judge, if you're watching. All right, now the paper will not ship. The chrome, we will. I'm gonna keep all these as close to me right here as possible. The pattern in the hobby cases, the paper to chrome pattern is different from the jumbo. Takes some getting used to here. Jeff, you saw you saw a breaker tossing stacks of Bowman cards in the trash. Was he trashing the paper base? Man, no respect for the paper base. We at least donate them. There's things you could do with them. Give them to the kids in town that come visit. All sorts of things you could do with the paper base. Does not deserve the trash can. In case you're wondering, folks, speaking of that Otani, um, we uh, we pulled two Otani autographs last night in from the same case, which is crazy. Juan Soto, 14 out of 25 orange paper. Actually, the out of 25s and under, I'll actually top load right here. Uh, each box, we're expecting one autograph in this hobby. Set this one aside. In fact, if you go to at Jaspie's Hobbyland, I posted a... Uh, Oh, here, I'll just show you right now. There it is. So hopefully we'll find more of that, more of that guy. Maybe a lower number parallel, perhaps. That would certainly make who has the angels in this. That would certainly make Daniel very happy if that happened. Ah, happy birthday, Aaron Judge. Thirteen out of fifty gold paper. Aaron Judge, birthday. I keep forgetting that Aaron Judge is a California guy. I think he's from in like Northern or Central California. Let 
That picture is posted too, EA. Joe Cavanaugh saying once our one artist takes comments of sports cards and makes amazing sports collages of them. You know, it's funny you should mention that because I actually bought the uh, the actual pens they use for autographs. So I could uh, I can I can goof around with that and add some maybe some funny quotes, some funny lines on some card and stuff like that. It'll be fun. It's gonna be fun. Some of you may get surprises in the mail. They're fancy pens too. Matt Hall, sixty-six out of one twenty-five. This is a team that's not in the, uh, not on the main list. So we're going to set that aside. That'll be a randomizer, winner take all. On that at the end of the break. Paper, chrome, paper. Oh, Sandro Fabian. There's our first auto. Orange. That goes to the Giants. Anthony with some Oppo Joe Mojo. I do like when the parallels match the color of the team, though. Four out of 25. Sandro Fabian. Orange Shimmer Autograph. All right, there's box one. Set these over here. Let's get this over here. All right, next one, good luck. Yeah, that, that should that that should those orange shimmers do, do pretty well. Uh, going back to uh, the uh, the paper base, Michael G says says donate the card the card to Goodwill have a tax write off. That's a possibility. Boombox says giving the car, kids free cards promotes welfare and socialism. Wow. Oh, no, he said JK. I, th I think it promotes capitalism. It's good old-fashioned capitalism. It's like, it's like, here's a taste. We'll see you in a few years when you have disposable income. And you start buying boxes from us. Start joining our group breaks on jazbeesobbyland.com. It's the, it's the capitalism of the streets. <laughs> you know, here's a, here's a taste for free. See you back here. Right. A few more packs. Right, EA, EA, EA blames me. That's right. I'm the hobby pusher man. That's what I am. It's a good, uh, it's a good song. Okay. Here we go. Paper, 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 paper. Chrome, paper, chrome, paper, 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 paper.
And Cedric Mullins for the Orioles is your Bowman first autograph. Patrick with the O's. And let's see if what, what low number parallels we can find in here. Maybe a train whistle. That'd be nice. I've heard of that guy. I haven't seen any paper parallels of him yet, though. Of Otani. I'm sure they're in there somewhere. There's Nick Gordon, 31 out of 75. Nice one for the Twin Cities. That's Junior with the Twins. D. Gordon's brother. And they're, uh, they're the kids of, uh, or half-brother, I think. But Tom Flash Gordon is their dad. Jojo Romero, Atomic. Are you numbered? Oh, I thought you'd be numbered. It's not. The inserts are. That'll still ship, of course, to the Phillies. Purple coming up. Tuki Toussaint out of 250 for the Bravos. That'll go to Rich. Rich with the last bot mojo Braves. Last bid right here. And that's box two. Yes, I think you can get a a uh, an autograph of Otani in Japanese, in kanji. I'm pretty sure you can. In fact, I think we've I think there's a preview picture of it on our website, jaspieshobbyland.com. So I think that variation exists, I'm sure. It's shorter printed, I would imagine, especially if, if we haven't seen one. On a, on a secondary market yet. That's, that would be my guess. I don't know if they go for more or less. I, I would guess I would guess more due, just due to the short print, shorter printedness of it and the uh, and the novelty of it, you know. We'll have to see one of them up here on eBay and then see what happens. more to go. Thanks for hanging with me, folks.
Bert, Bert thinks double on that. All right. Good luck, everybody. Nick Prado for the Royals. 143 out of 150. That'll go to... Where are the Royals on? Oh, Royals-Brewers combo, DMAC. Boombox saying, you still haven't gotten your Mark Hamill... Redemption from Masterwork? You know, Mark Hamill's pretty active on Twitter. You should just call him out. You'd be like, hey, <laughs> can you sign that one card? <laughs> Thanks. Been waiting on it. Oh, you did tweet it? <laughs> DL Hall out of 499 for the O's. That'll go to Patrick, 244 out of 499. Cyan Paper. Oh, and here comes the autograph. And it's a Blue Jay. Edward Olivetis for Richard Peake and the Blue Jays. There you go, Richard. Nice Blue Jays have some nice prospects coming up the ranks. Acuna. He got called up. He's doing his thing. Shohei Paper. And Eloy Jimenez, refractor to 499 for the White Sox. Nancy with the White Sox. A lot of people seem to suggest that that, that might be a deal the, that the Cubs will regret. Eloy Jimenez was on the Cubs, got traded for traded in the Jose Quintana deal. Nice talent pipeline. 11 out of 150. Nice atomic for the Rangers. Uh, oh, I think we took out the Rangers. So that's part of the winner take all bonus pile. These are the teams that we did not randomize. Put that right over there. So someone get a chance at a couple extra bonus cards. Quentin Holmes, Brandon McKay, Trevor Rogers, and these guys. All right. Next box. A lot of early games in baseball today. Let's take a look at some baseball scores while I rip open these, rip open these packs. It's a final in St. Louis. Cardinals beating the Mets in 13 innings, 4 to 3. I think I saw some highlights of that game earlier. There was a lot of, uh, there were some defensive miscues by the Mets that undermined what, what would have been a pretty solid start by Noah Syndergaard. Yankees 
winning four to three, beating the beating the Twins on Aaron Judge's birthday. Diamondbacks taking care of business. Uh, taking care of business. They they won eight to two. They have won, I think, a, a bunch of series is in a row to start the season, which is, I think, it's the best series winning streak. I think since uh, since the early two thousands, Mariners who won like a million games that season. Pirates edging out the Tigers one nothing. That's the final score, and the Braves beating the Reds seven to four. Other games are in progress. We'll get to those in the next box. Jared John, how did I get this job to be a breaker, and how did you start it like breaking live? Um, that's a good question. Get this way here. Let me do this box first. I'll answer it in the next box. See? Professional teaser right there. That answer coming up in the next box. Orange Shimmer, 8 out of 25. Jake Kalish for the Royals. That'll go to DMAC. So oranges are always pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I'll check that. On the next box too. How did how did Acuna do today? Uh, he did get his first hit yesterday. I think Ia had mentioned that, but I thought he had went over yesterday. But he he did collect his first hit. There's Kybert Ruiz. It's a big Dodger prospect. That goes to Junior with my Dodgers. The future of that catching position can field can hit. And is in double A. I think he's only like 19 years old right now, so could be a big part of the Dodgers organization for a long time. Oh, Joe Cavanaugh has the answer for us and and EA. Oh, he hit his first home run today. The legend of Acuna continues to grow. Three for four, a double and a home run, two RBIs. Nice. That's gonna be Otani and Acuna, those are going to be a couple of the big, bigger names in the hobby this year. Maybe Victor Robles, too, if they actually call him up for the Nationals. And we got Aaron Althier as well. 349 out of 499 for the Phillies. I have not pulled any Acuna autograph steals and deals. We have not seen him yet. He has been somewhat elusive. There's Carter Kaiboom. Will Smith, the fresh Prince of Bel Air, another one of the big Dodger catching prospects. James Nelson, 109 out of 250 purple paper for the Marlins. All right, 
And there's Royce Lewis paper at the end. All right, next box. That was a 416-foot home run for Acuna. Wow. I will have to watch, look that up a little bit later. All right, next one. Um, I think really the, the idea, well, I mean, case breaking, believe it or not, has come a long way since we started, since we started this a few years ago, almost four years now. Um, really, Boss Man had sort of semi-retired from Tops, had come out west. I think all, a lot of family, a lot of kids live out here. Um, his oldest lives out here in California, and his daughter goes to... Um, when it were, was going to college in Northern California, she just finished. And and so, you know, Nick Jaspi, who had just finished up high school, you know, they were kind of thinking, hey, let, let's do something with the hobby. Nick Jaspi kind of got into the whole case breaking thing. Boss man was like, hey, this looks like a good idea. I can see the business potential here. And we just kind of started that, or they just kind of started that. And then... They always said that, you know, and I've, I've known the family for a long time. They've always said that, hey, you know, you, you, I think you'd be good at this. You just open up Cards Live, you know, sports, you know, cards, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah, but I had a job at the time. And I said, yeah, and I kind of said, well, listen, if I ever get laid off anytime soon, I'll definitely be hitting you guys up. Sure enough, like six months later, uh, got laid off and then started working in the early, early days of Jaspie's Hobbyland. And we've been here ever since. That's kind of how I stumbled into this. And really just, I think I always always liked the idea of having like a, um, like a, like, like a sports talk radio job I thought would be really cool. So that's kind of how we treated it from the get-go. Like, hey, let's make this a sort of show. Let's make this, let's give entertainment value to, to just a, a simple unboxing of cards, you know? So we kind of took that business model, among other things, and, and here we are. Well, if you're wondering how to, I mean, let's just let's put it this way: if 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 your local card shop isn't doing this already, they should be, <laughs> at least, you know, because it's hard to just sustain yourself as a classic local card shop. This is like it's like the future. To me. I think it's almost like if you're a business with a business without a website, can't be can't have a business without a website or at least some sort of web presence. If you're a local card shop, hey, listen, more power to to the local card shop if they're surviving and doing well without case breaking. But but I think they they got to be doing it. Oh, nice Chrome Prospect Autograph Purple Refractor Luis Robert for the White Sox. Nancy with the White Sox. That's, that's this is a big card. But the, the trouble is, in, t in terms of case breaking, there you go, Nancy, is uh, it's a lot more work than one thinks to set up this from the get-go and then to really fine tune and hone everything. You know what I mean? It took us a while to, to really get the right, you know, to get the right camera configuration, the right software, the right, you know, you gotta, you gotta increase. It's a lot of money too. You gotta increase your internet speeds. You gotta get a nice microphone, nice camera. Um, set up a nice sort of stage, a nice area. I mean, you can do it bare bones too. Just do it with your iPhone, iPad, something like that. But, but for us, knowing that this was going to be a main core of our business, we really invested in a lot of, a lot of the infrastructure here. Uh, out of 499 Chris Rodriguez refractor yeah bird saying that that this is several hundred bucks yeah that is, that is a big big name in the hobby it's 
Forrest Whitley, Hunter Harvey. There's Ryan Vallad out of 499 paper for the Rocks. That'll go to Jeremy Merle. There's Luis Udias out of 125 chrome going to Paul Coolwit. Coolwit. Garrett Cooper to 250 purple paper. That'll go to the Marlins. That's for the Marlins Pirates combo. Nelson with that one. And the last bit here. Sorry, Nick Solak. Nick Solak paper. These Bowman Sterling inserts are pretty cool too. Those, those will definitely ship. Some of those are autographed as well. Maybe we'll find one of those in this case. All right, another box in the books. And the next one, good luck. Some of the other live scores that are happening right now. The top of the sixth, Mariners leading the uh, leading the Indians in Cleveland, four to nothing. And in just the bottom of the second, the Rays are already ahead of the Orioles, four to nothing. And the bottom of the second, Blue Jays taking an early lead on the Red Sox, one to nothing. That's just the bottom of the second, though. And then games later tonight. Brewers are in Chicago playing the Cubbies, and the White Sox are visiting Kansas City. Light Thursday schedule, a lot of teams traveling. Just one basketball game on tonight, right? Let's get that Otani out of here. The NBA trying to avoid the draft madness. Our draft night mixer number one. Is, uh, is coming uh, is coming up after this. this is, we still have a, a little ways to go, but in this break, about another 40 minutes to go, but that is coming up a little bit later. Boombox wondering if anyone's gonna watch Avengers Infinity War tonight. The war that never ends. Infinity, how long is that movie gonna be? Chan Sisko is your rookie autograph, the catcher for the Orioles. Patrick with the O's. There's Jemai Jones out of 499. There's a lot going on. There's NBA playoffs, Avengers Infinity War, NFL Draft, Jaspie's Hobbyland, 
A lot of entertainment options that you have, ladies and gentlemen, so I appreciate you choosing us tonight. Although, I'm pretty sure that in <laughs> Avengers Infinity War, we'll probably do a little bit better than Jaspie's Hobbyland tonight. I think so. Eh, they might do okay. <laughs> they, might do all right. they might do a little bit better than Jaspie's tonight. Jax! We already got the autograph out of here, the one auto out of here. And parallels are what we're looking for. There's J.D. Davis, 4 out of 25, orange paper for the Astros. That'll go to, it'll go to the Diamondbacks-Astros combo. Mike Koontz with that one. Always like it when the parallel matches the team colors. There's, well, there's two Adrian Mortarhones right here. 456 out of 499. Paper parallel for the Padres for Paul. Paper parallel Padres Paul. Oh. Cool wit. And the last bit, there's Brendan McKay. Hunter Green, Bowman Sterling for the Reds. And on to the next box. We are about officially halfway through the break now folks so we've got about another 40 or so minutes before we're done Aaron Judge's birthday we're keeping keeping him off to the side here how old's Aaron Judge? he's got to be like 25 maybe how is Aaron Judge folks? Uh, Trevor, just just visit the website, man. JaspiesHobbyland.com. There's plenty of stuff on the site that you can that you can get into. Any product should be a lot of stuff on the site. If that link doesn't work, just go to JaspiesHobbyland.com. Skimped on the uh, on the packaging this year, folks. Come on, pop. I know. Cutting corners, Joe. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're cutting. Ground. They got to pay Otani. That's true. They do have to pay Otani. But yeah, it's kind of last year a little bit thicker. Last year, so it didn't fall apart in my hands, mm -hmm. which helps helps one rip packs faster. If they're not falling apart. In well, hands. We just want to make sure they keep throwing packs and not you know, just buy the cards separately. Yes.
Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Oh, someone did a 12 case break of Bowman Baseball. Someone paid $11,000 for all the Otani cards. Whew. 25 out of 150, Kevin Newman for the Pirates. Newman. Marlins and Pirates combo, Nelson with that one. We did that 20 caser a couple years ago. Yeah. Took a week to sort. That took a week to sort in that 20 case. Oh, Jared John. I'll, let me tell you, the best card that I personally own is a out of 199 Khalil Mack triple relic from Black Gold Football, Panini Black Gold Football. Ooh, that's that's, that's like a million dollars or something like that. Shed Long autograph. Shed Long actually could be the future of that second base spot. Jeremy Merle and the Reds. 281 out of 499. Single color triple relic out of 199. This is the best card that I own. It's pretty honest. Like, I think it's like $500 now or something like that. $600 maybe. Rookie, obviously. 125 out of 125, Jason Martin, another pirate parallel. Will Craig Atomic. Truth is, I don't really collect that much anymore. I see awesome hits that I pull for you guys every day, so I kind of get my kind of get my fix. James Nelson, Blue Shimmer, one fifty out of one fifty. For the Marlins, so Pirates Marlins combo hitting some nice parallels. And the next bit. Steven Gonzalez, 57 out of 250 purple paper for the Twins. That will be for Junior. Drew Ellis at the end. There you go. Next box. folks. Getting there, getting closer. Number of boxes on the table dwindling. Yeah, Jared John saying that's why I want to do something like, like this. You're not big on collecting, you just love opening the packs. Yeah, it's fun. It really is. It's a lot of work, but it is, it is fun. I don't know, sometimes I feel like, I don't feel super strongly about it, but sometimes I feel like, uh, if you're a big collector and you do breaks, uh, sometimes there could be be a potential for a conflict of interest, I think. 
you know, maybe, you know, we, we've seen some of those, some of those, uh, th those scammer videos where some quote unquote case breaker tries to like be all sly with a card. That's, that's just greed, greed and temptation. If you just do it for the love of the hobby, just for breaking, not really be a super collector and all that, and I think like you know, you eliminate that sort of conflict of interest. Boombox says you have a you have five to eight one of one sketch cards by me that are worth yeah, that's about six 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 point five million, I think. It goes up all the time. Bird saying check tops. Uh, checked and top showed an Otani blue refractor autograph in Japanese on Twitter. Didn't say how much they're signed that way though. Hopefully all, all 150 of them, right? Of the blues, 150. GCL, is it true, Joe? Better hits come out of hobby rather than jumbo. I don't know. I, is it true? We've only done two. I mean, we've only done one and one and a half hobby cases. And only what three jumbo cases, so and I haven't watched anything anything else, so I have no idea. Small sample size for us. The Otani's came out of a jumbo. So did the uh, so did the red Hunter Green. That came out of a jumbo case. Did that super fractor come out of a the Harrison Bader super fractor? Did that did that come out of a, a hobby case maybe? Marcel Ozuna paper. That goes to the Cardinals. Brandon Gomes would be out of four ninety nine. Yadier Alvarez for my Dodgers. And his first home run today. The legend of Acuna continues. About this guy, We've not seen our auto yet. Corey Raid, four ninety nine. Goes to the Brew Crew. That is for the Royals Brewers combo D Mac with a 169 out of 499 paper parallel Corey Ray. Ah, it's going to be a redemption. Behind paper Francisco Lindor is. You are due to receive a Chrome Prospect autograph of. Oh, is it Luis Robert? Luis Robert. There you go. Another one for the White Sox for Nancy. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong, Nancy. Talks have a lot of great prospects coming up the ranks. I think they'll be surprisingly good in a couple years. And some orange, Mitchell White. Nice. 
17 out of 25 for my Dodgers. That goes to Junior. There's my Dodgers. Faze is here. Is is he's asking if anybody is going to watch the draft? Nah. Nah, we don't like sports. <laughs> nah. Probably not. Let's not watch the players who may be added to our teams and could be the future of our franchise. Nah. Of course we are, FaZe. Come on, man. That's like asking, hey, anybody going to breathe tonight? Yeah, it's the NFL draft. What else are you going to do on Thursday night? It's Jaspies and draft. That's it. You watch Jaspies, you watch the draft, you keep that on mute like I have right here. That's what we're doing. Come on. That's all there is to do on a Thursday night. All the baseball, like, no, not light day in baseball, only one playoff game. Of course we're watching the draft. Kip, what's going on? Kip, Kip, hooray in the house. There's nothing else to do. Jaspies and draft. That's it. Jaspies and chill. Phase with another hot question here. Who do you guys think is going first? Man, if we knew that, I'd have a million dollars. Exactly. Draft is like two hours of analysts uh, stating the obvious and then being 100% wrong. No one knows who's going first. We're going to find out soon, right? I think I may have timed this break perfectly. I should have NFL... I have the NFL draft up on my screen as I'm doing this. Yeah, I really don't need to hear those guys talking. Although I do like the highlight packages that come up when they, you know, when they do that. But uh, Jeff Dorlike says the Dr. Pepper guy. It's the sweet thing. You think Sam Darnold is going first? Why? I guess your guess would be as good as any of those so-called experts. Yeah, Kip's like I just I just want to I just want to see what fourth rounder will be picked in the first round. What well, did did someone did did a potential draft pick put out a racist tweet? Oh, I think I heard about that. Was that Josh Allen? No. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that they would pass on Barkley one. I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's smoke and mirrors. Maybe the Browns have said, "Hey, we're gonna take we're gonna take quarterback, 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 quarterback." But then. I don't know if that will. That will hurt his draft stock. I think he wasn't he. It wasn't like a video of him singing along to a to a rap song or something like that. And you know, and he right, yeah. When he was fifteen and wanted to be a white rapper, yeah. I think that's what it was. Now that I think I did hear about that story earlier. Too. I can't imagine that's gonna that's gonna hurt him, right? What he did when he was if if the public knew about the things I did when I was fifteen years old, no one would hire me. Ever. Kyle Cody, 40 out of 50 gold paper. It will it shouldn't hurt his draft stock, I think. Right. If you ball, you get the call. Right, Kip? That's what it is. I mean, like unless he's like unless it's like serious criminal allegations, you know, I don't I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna hurt him too much. The sins of your teenage years. God, oh, the best autograph in the hobby. Andres Jimenez. For the Metropolitan. Sam with that one. Kip, do you have any friends in the FBI? If you have any friends in the FBI, we want them to analyze this, uh, this handwriting here. Is this like serial killer handwriting? Maybe. Best autograph in the hobby. 
But we do want to submit it to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. We want to submit it to the Bureau and see if uh, they can analyze that and see, see what they think. You know a few? Maybe in, in the handwriting department? If they're in the handwriting analysis department, that would definitely be key. We'd like to see that. We'd like to submit that guy's autograph to the department. Get uh, you know they don't have. It doesn't have to be on the record. Kip, we'll we'll take we'll take off the record. We won't name names. Looks like I think Michael G and Robert think Baker Mayfield's gonna go first. That would be. That would be a shock. I would be shocked. I think all that Baker Mayfield talk, smoke and mirrors. Austin Beck, out of 125 for the A's, Alex Carmichael. Kind of has, I think he sort of has a Carney Lansford look. Remember old Carney Lansford? Bird says this is like the Blair Witch symbol, yeah. This could be the Blair Witch symbol. Could be some sort of symbol. At least I at least I can say that it's uh that it's a repeatable autograph, you know what I mean? So like I think like it's pretty much the same as it usually is, so I gotta hand him that. It's not arbitrary. <laughs> it's that he like he's intending to sign it like that, because it's we've seen a few of his autographs. It's been like that for all of them. So I guess some credit there. Former Yankees prospect James Caprillion out of four ninety nine. He's supposed to be pretty good too. This goes to the A's, of course. That'll be for another one for Alex Carmichael. We pulled this super fractor last night. If you look on our Twitter at Jaspie's Hobbyland, you can see a picture of it. It was a nice woo woo. Legend Acuna. All right, a couple paper. Next box. So with three boxes to go. We're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, Andres. Possibly Blair Witch symbol, possibly, possibly serial killer signature. Faze is hoping that your Raiders draft Roquan Smith. I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's just, I used to be all into the draft and be all like, oh, yeah, I'm going to like start projecting who's going to go where and all that. Then I realized, what, it was a waste of time. Like, it, it, it took away from my enjoyment of watching the draft. I was just like, forget it. I'm just going to. I'm just gonna see what happens. I mean, I think you have general ideas of where they're gonna, of what positions that guys are gonna take, teams are gonna take. But at a at certain point, like I can't project all the way down to the tenth or eleventh pick or whatever, and be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be that guy. Just forget it. Not into that anymore. All I know is that the Raiders kind of need defense. That's probably where they're gonna go. I'll go with that. Oh uh, yeah, Browns are on the clock. I have my NFL.com slash draft slash tracker slash picks up right now. Got it on the television. Let's see what they end up doing. Can you believe that how how much of a, a television event that this has become? It's really just, if you think about it, it's kind of silly. It's really just guys calling out names, walking up to a podium and holding up a jersey and wearing a hat, right? <laughs> but it's gotten, to, it's gotten to be such 
such a big thing. You know, it's hey, there's Shane. Shane got that super fracture last night. You are welcome, man. What a what a super pull. Oh, you fell asleep. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it was it was worth watching that like hour and a half break. You're like, oh, okay, there's payoff. Super fracture. Congrats, man. That's nice too. And and like I feel like Harrison Bader's legit. You know, he's uh. He's in the majors now. I mean, he, he could very legitimately be a Rookie of the Year candidate. All right, third to last box. You're well. Hey, thank you for getting into the break. Appreciate that. All right, third to last box. Good luck, everybody. We're going to start off with some purple paper of Althea out of 250. That goes to the Phillies. That'll be for Daniel, Daniel D with that one. Sean Murphy, Atomic. The Browns have to know, what, seven minutes? The Browns have to know who they're taking already, right? I guess, I think I've heard that that what, what happens in this, this time span is they're just seeing if there's any sort of last-minute, crazy Godfather trade offer that they may get from some team. They kind of wait on that. Otherwise, they're calling, they're calling agents. They're calling the player. They're saying, "Hey, are you ready?" <laughs> are you ready to be a Cleveland Brown? Oh, that's actually numbered. Bowman's birthday, Francisco Lindor out of 150. There you go. Bottom left-hand corner, you can see the 68 out of 150. Nice one for the Tribe. That'll go to... Where is the Indians on this list? Do we not put the Indians on this list? Huh. Indians might not be on this list. Did we take out the Indians? That's a nice one. Yeah, we took out the Tribe. So that goes into the, uh, the winner-take-all bonus pile. Nice. So someone will be randomized that at the end, that pile of cards. The teams that we did not include in this break. There's Verdugo. There's Yu Chen Chang out of 250. Another one for the tribe. Purple Chrome. So that gets added. Could be a nice consolation prize for the hit list. Or a bonus, a cherry on top for people who've had who've got hits. Oh, there's our autograph. Looks like it's gold. That card is gold! Edward Olivares, another one for Richard Peake and the Blue Jays. This time, gold. Twenty-eight out of fifty. Nice. So that's our third to final autograph from this break. Two box to go, two more autographs to go. And parallels. Jordan Humphreys to 499. That's for the Mets. That'll be for Sam. And there we go. Two boxes to go. 
Are they taking it right to the end? Three minutes and 45 seconds left? Come on, Browns. You know who you're taking. All right. Good luck, everybody. Oh man, I love stories like this, Kip. Kip says they seized, you can probably guess where Kip works for, uh, seized a thousand counterfeit NFL jerseys and caps. That's pretty cool. Of what, of what teams? Do you have any other details? What, what teams were, were most prominent? All right, so these are the last two boxes right here. Were they good counterfeits? Where was it coming from? Pretty good. I, I, I guess the, the the technology is there where you can get counterfeits pretty pretty well these days. What is the difference between a counterfeit and and a replica? Oh, I guess. I guess the NFL doesn't license stuff out for replicas, so I guess all those are counterfeits? Or maybe they do license it out, or I don't know. I don't know how that works. I guess you're never buying a fake jersey, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. You're never buying a fake jersey. Any, anytime you buy anything on the site, on the Raiders.com or, or from any, um, from any uh, store, I guess, any retail store, it's all going to be officially licensed products, right? Replicas are actually counterfeits. <laughs> not just they're not just replicas. Hmm. So it's the paper. Uh, that's always what it is. Sloppy paperwork. Sloppy paperwork. I've seen the wire, Kip. I've watched the wire. I know how that works. All right, let's open this one too. And the Brown Select? Wow, they did take Baker Mayfield. Unbelievable. Robert, Robert Rohr said Baker Mayfield all along. Oh, what, 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 what gave you confidence? Robert Rohr, what what information gave you confidence that it would be Baker Mayfield? Uh, that's I feel like that's a stretch, isn't it? Can't get Baker Mayfield fourth. Unless they really like the guy. They said, hey, he's he's our he's our franchise quarterback. Well then what do you if you're the Giants? If if you're the Giants, how do you yeah, right, Bert? I feel like they could have got, got him at four. If you're the Giants, though, how do you... And I don't think they're going to go quarterback, right, Giants? Although a lot of people say they are going to go quarterback. you got to think that now you got to take Saquon Barkley, right? The Giants have not had a great running attack for a while. Eli Manning still solid. They got Davis Webb from last year who could still, you know, be groomed. Got good wide receivers, got Evan Ingram. But that running attack has always been an issue for the Giants. You've got to take Barkley at this point. I 
just feel like if I'm the Browns organization, as much as I like ba Baker, if if I like if I was in the organization, I'm like, hey, I really like Baker Mayfield. I would still be like, just just due to due to whatever you know unluckiness or curse that the Browns may have in choosing quarterbacks. We'll see. I don't think Johnny. I, I don't. I think that's unfair. Baker Mayfield is not Johnny Manziel, too. In what ways? I don't, I don't think his behavioral issues are are anywhere close to Johnny Manziel. I don't think Baker Mayfield has ever been accused of substance abuse issues, right? Well, how did you know it, Robert? Like, what, what information gave it away? What was your thought process? Ooh, nice Clint Frazier. 12 out of 25 orange. Nice Clint Frazier for Matthew Kelly and the Yankees. You just had a good feeling about the, the NFL Network analysis? Fair enough. Well, they, they, must, they must really have been high on Baker Mayfield. Yeah, at this point, I'd be shocked if Barkley did not go to the Giants. That's you can't pass that up. EA, you also think Johnny Manziel 2.0, but why? I think Johnny Manziel had far more behavioral issues. If that's why you're comparing a far more, a far worse behavioral issues, but aren't they aren't they different players? Nick Senzel 118 out of 150. That's for the Reds. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. I just think it's unfair to, to tag Baker Mayfield with, with someone like Johnny Manziel, who is a well-known partier in college. You don't hear that about Baker Mayfield. I mean, maybe they have similar playing styles. If that's the case, perhaps that doesn't translate well. But, but I think what undid Johnny Manziel was his behavioral issues. Jordan Hicks out of 499. Yeah, that's what we were saying too. That the Giants, it's got to, it's, it's got to be an easy pick for the, for the Giants now. And there we go. Saquon Barkley, that was easy. So now, what do the Jets do? Are Jets going quarterback? I actually don't know what the Jets, what the rumors have been about the Jets. All right, that was the second to last box. That nice Clint Frazier orange came out of that second to last box. Now let's see what we have in the final box. Good luck. Sean Murphy to 125. That's for the A's. That goes to Alex Carmichael. Greg Diekman 
For the A's, Alex Carmichael with an autograph at the very, very end. And that's our last auto, folks. Now we're looking, looking for low number parallels out of here. Maybe a train whistle. Be nice to end with a train whistle. Nick Solak, Atomic. Jordan Humphreys, 10 out of 250. Nick Castellanos out of 499. That'll go to the oh, that's a tiger. That'll actually go into that to the extra pile there. To the bonus pile. I mean, are, are, I mean, I don't, I don't watch enough college football to really know. I mean, I, I, from my impression, from what little I've seen, I don't think Baker Mayfield's exactly is not a a like for like comparison to Johnny Manziel. And 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 here's the thing, everyone says Johnny Manziel's a bust, but he was a bust because I think he struggled with a lot of possible drug and alcohol issues, you know. And I think that was his undoing. So there's really no idea if he would have been. If that type of quarterback would have would have uh, succeeded in the NFL or not, so if you argue that Baker Mayfield is is a same type of quarterback as Johnny Manziel, you know, then maybe maybe you think okay. You can actually see what that kind of quarterback can do in the NFL. Yeah, so that's what we were saying too, Kyle. Brown could have picked Barkley at one, and then still get Baker Mayfield. They liked him that much. Still get Baker Mayfield at four. But I guess they really like Baker Mayfield. All right, and there you go, folks. That was your twelve box. Uh, your twelve box random team break, uh, number two. From jazbeeshobbyland.com. The third hobby random case is in the store right now. So be sure to check that out. Now we've got some uh, some bonuses here. This is a winner take all on these bonus cards. So let's go back to random.org. And everyone has a shot at it. So from Mike down to Matthew. Let's get your names here. And let's randomize that list. Five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. The extra cards go to Brandon Gomes. There you go, Brandon. Congrats. Some bonus cards coming your way and any other parallels from these teams that we miss or whatever. You'll get all the ones that weren't on that list. So thanks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We'll see you next time for more Bowman Baseball. Bye-bye.